Welcome. In this video, we're going to add some standard elements to our site, namely a favicon, a company logo, and a footer with a privacy policy and a cookie statement. Let's start with our favicon. Um, we need to add a link for that, and even in Wikipedia, it is described how to do that. Um, there are several types of files you can include. Uh, we will use a PNG file, which means that we have to add this link to our base template. Let's go over to our base template. We have it here, and we add the template here. Um, that means that we will include a file called favicon32 by 32 in a directory images, uh, which has to be found by the static tag. And we will just put it in the static directory of our project directory. So that's here. And let's add a directory called images. Now that's a file. Excuse me, directory, new directory, images, and paste in our file. Favicon, that's OK. And now we should have a favicon on our site. Let's immediately try this out. over to our server and reload the page. And there on the top we have our favicon. So that's pretty easy. Now on to our company logo. Now obviously we could hard code the company logo in our HTML, but we are going to introduce a model which allows us to upload any company logo via the editor. So let's go over to our models.py and add a model for a company logo. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, because we are in Wagtail, we can register this as a snippet, which means that we can edit this via our editor. Uh, it has just two fields, a name and a logo. A name is just a text file, and a logo is an image file, so that we can both have the name and the image of our logo on our site. Panels are straightforward, and uh, string definition is just the name. To bring this model to our template, we need a template tag. So let's create that as well. Go over to our tags file and create a very simple, simple tag, um, which is just returning the company logo and then the first of the objects that is in the company logo class. Obviously, if we have multiple logos or multiple sizes, for example, we could do it differently. But for this purpose, this is enough. Um, the tag is called company logo. Now we still have to import company logo, so let's do that here on top. And then our tag is complete. Now on to our template. We will use mainmenu.html, which is our menu navigation template, which means that we want our um, logo to be here somewhere. So let's first import this logo. Here is the, temp is the template tag that we just introduced. A logo is the name that we're going to use. And then we're going to put a link here, um, which goes to the home page if it is clicked. So that means that if you click on the logo, it will bring you to the home page. And it has the image of the logo plus the name of the logo in the anchor. So now we want to add some styling. Let's go to our CSS file and add some styling for the logo. Um, very simple, we use a specific font to display the name of the logo, and then we have a font size and a color. Uh, the font size, we picked it up from Google, um, and in order to have that, we need to include a link in our base template. So let's go over to our base template again. Here we are, and add the link to the font that we want to use. That should already work, so let's go over to our server. But first, we have to migrate the database because we have introduced a new model. So let's do that. No typing mistakes this time. Migrate and run our server. over to our page, to the editor, and then we go to snippets, 
and then we have a company logo class where there's nothing in yet so let's create a logo we'll call the logo python eats tail and let's choose an image um, let's upload an image choose a file for that mm, here we are open now we have a logo this is great and it should be fine let's head over to our side and see how it works out yeah we have our logo here and it seems to be pretty much as we want well, obviously we can do some editing if we want but for now this is okay on to our footer our footer is basically a menu with a couple of items in it like a cookie statement and a privacy policy so we can use the menu function that we introduced in an earlier video uh, but first we have to create a text page which will contain our cookie statement and privacy policy so that's a new model so let's go over to our models here and put in a new type of page let's do that here which is just called text page it's a very simple page with just one field a rich text field and one panel to go with it we need a template to go with this so let's go over to our templates here and create the file for that which has to be called text page text underscore page dot html which is the customary way of wagtail um, naming of templates so we'll just paste in the content it's pretty straightforward we extend from our base template we load wagtail cortex because we're going to use the rich text filter here and then um, we introduce a class just in case we need it and then in the content there is just two fields the page, the page title and the page text this will do for the um, privacy statement and the cookie statement but we also need a template for the footer as a whole so let's create that um, create a file called footer.html and put some content there as well um, also very simple we load the CMS tag because we need to have the menu function which will generate the footer um, then we use that get menu function that we um, created in a previous tutorial with uh, three arguments the argument footer which will be the name of our footer menu then none uh, indicating there is no page that we have to link to and then a request that user that is authenticated is a parameter that we need but we don't really use it here in this template but we use it we need to have it for the get menu function uh, we use the um, footer element of html with a list an unordered list and every list item is basically either a url or just a title if there is no url present let's include this template in our base template and we should put that at the end of our body so somewhere here there should be fine and now we only have to do the styling so let's head over to our css file again um, actually you can do this in different in this in different ways um, what we are going to do is we're going to reserve a bit of space at the end of our body um, of our viewport um, in that way we can assure that uh, footer is always at the end of the viewport and we also might want to make sure that for smaller pages the footer is not somewhere halfway of the page so it has to be at, really at the end at uh, the bottom of the viewport so to reserve some space um, the first thing we do is paste in this piece of code which um, generates well first of all it makes sure that the minimum height of the body is always 100 percent of the viewport so that uh, we don't end our page somewhere halfway the viewport and then we use position relative combined with position absolute later for the footer to guarantee that the footer is indeed at the bottom of the page and then a padding of 50 pixels which is enough space for the footer to be in now go to our footer and here we have a background color and the height is 50 pixels again this is the space that we reserved for um, at the top of this uh, file and then padding at the top for the text elements um, position is absolute as I mentioned already and it should be positioned at the bottom with a width of 100 percent 
then the styling of the elements in the footer. Um, we're going to use a list, but we don't want any bullets, so we put list type none. Display inline and color white against a navy background. And then font size and margin between the elements. That pretty much completes it, so let's stop the server again and migrate all the elements. Text page. And run our server. Go over to our page and do our admin. And let's add a footer. Well, first let's add some pages because we want to have a privacy policy and a cookie statement. So let's do that. Um, let's add them here. So here we have the model text page, which we created. And then let's put here cookie statement. I prepared some text for that. I paste it in here. Um, this is not really the purpose of this tutorial, so I hope you believe me that this is okay for now. Um, put in the date. And we could style it maybe a little bit better, but uh, it's okay for now. Publish it and do the same for a privacy policy. Text page, privacy policy. And again, some text I prepared. Add the date, 3rd of June, and publish it. Now we can create a footer menu. Let's get over, go over to our snippets, to our menus, and then we can add a menu called footer. Add a menu item. First thing we want to do is to have a copyright. mentioning here uh, with no URL, no page, no set menu, and just the title. And then add a second item, which is going to be our cookie statement with a page attached to it. And this is going to be the cookie statement page. And then a third item, which is going to be our privacy policy. Again, with a page attached to it, which is our privacy policy page. Save that, and let's see how this works out. Okay, here we have the footer, and indeed we do have a copyright, a cookie statement, and a privacy policy. And if we click on the cookie statement, then we go to the cookie statement. So that's what we wanted to do. This is it for now, and see you next time.